Team, tweet at LOLE Sports, either hashtag TDK win or hashtag TSM win as we get into the game. Everybody's getting back to their seats. Boy would have been able to do, and they're actually trying to focus Keith now, the new member of the team. Moved in, that's the one they wanted, but can it hold him the whole time? He actually got a really nice spell shield on the majority of that damage. Is it a finalizer? The bomb goes off from explosive shot, and they take... But maybe they take the turret and trade for this dragon. Nice plays going on right now by enemy, or TDK I should say. They are now going for Dragon, and they are going to be able to back up with this, so Kez. Now we might see a bit of a shove, and that damage is starting to come through. Oh boy, don't stand there! Oh, flashes out, oh, the Chaos Storm goes down! Bjergsen gets baited into the trap! He roams right now, especially with that blue buff. I'm sure Bjergsen wants oh, that very bad, far. and he actually might get himself a blue buff. This could, Bjergsen actually Jumped away Look from that quite quickly, knowing that Ninja could kill him, and very well so. Ninja could absolutely kill two members of their team. Kaz a little too deep now, takes a hit from Bjergsen. They're going to have to focus this one. The damage trade not so much going in their favor anymore, but wow. Ninja with the fancy beat. Keep charge. going. Can't let him do much. The shield coming oh. in from Seraph to save his life by the skin of his teeth, and he goes down for it. Very, very low on the side of Santorin. Like a, a small misstep ninja shouldn't have been up that far, but then he almost turns it into an outplay. Oh boy. And they are no, way you, in enemy lines. That, this is a, that, that's pretty disrespectful. You do not back in Team Solo mid's jungle when you don't have vision of Team Solo mid. A big mistake here from TDK. Did they use summoners? They tried to use a few summoners to get out of that as well, so. That's gonna hurt. It is a dragon, but dragon's not gold. Yeah, just stats. I, I'm wondering exactly how they got there. They definitely didn't expect to have four members of Team Soul mid there, but even so, uh, approaching the power spike I'm, for Midland Ezreal. I'm glad we get, get TSM as their second game because it will for sure show us where that meter stands. That's a big boomerang going back across. Kaz gets hit up and blasted out as well from the fight. Santorin's trying to back up with the rest of the team. Now Ninja comes in. Chaos Storm on the entire team, but he gets deleted immediately. Can't be a front. Ninja is going to make a play like that. So, bit of a mid-game turn here. Bjergsen down his burst, though. Take Jumps a lantern. Rocket. It's going to blow up. It can Ooh. take him down. The burn is still on. Ooh. He lives. From all of the we saw it just took a Q and an Essence Flux in the last fight from this amount of HP to take him down. And now TDK is walking Has on caught. thin ice. It's turned into hot nails. It's not going to get any easier. Lust Boy, however, going down cools things up a bit. And it looks like Ninja now trying to get on the run. He dodges nice out of the move. Body Slam. Amazing. Ninja's been doing it all game with the fancy footwork. Chaos Storm just about stops as it has nobody else to chase. Dyrus looks to go down here. He gets stunned up one time after the other. Emperor a little too close to the fire that time. Bjergsen with not enough mana to complete this. Even with that Elixir of Sorcery on, the damage is going to be big, but not enough to win the fight. Well, skirmish, it's now Dragon number three for TDK, which is a pretty scary prospect if you're TSM. Wow. But he held his ultimate. I think Ninja surprised himself with the damage. That was a 100 to 0 opportunity. Oh boy! He had right there. Emperor. Oh boy! Jumps into a hook. Lust Boy says, Oh, and now Dyrus with the flank. This is bad for TDK. Dyrus is right in the middle of the fray. Gets a good slay on. Or slow, I should say. And it looks like Smoothie's going to be the only one to go down. The rest of the team's able to disengage. That could have been a lot worse for TDK if they tried to stay and fight, but they knew. Emperor's mistake cost them very big, and it's going to continue. Trying to use this window to take full control of the game. Kaz just on the outside. The pink ward's there. He cannot even get close without being seen. Baron still pretty low. 3,300 health on that. They're going to be forced to peel off. They throw down a little bit of movement speed. Nice shot coming out, taking down Ninja. We're going to see Seraph going down as well. Kaz is going to get hit. The Baron doing a lot of damage. Dyrus just gets out. And it looks like we'll be down for this one, but they have the pressure. The front tank line is Nautilus in the top lane. Basically the same combo that nearly killed him before will kill him later. Dyrus could get the Dark Passage. He cannot actually reach it. Oh, he gets it just in the last second. He will stay alive. Wow, what a play. CS in just a few more and has quite the lead on his lane. They go again onto Dyrus immediately with really out any, way, out any way to get to the back side of the team. Bjergsen has time to fire from the back line. True Shot Barrage goes off. 
hits Seraph, and all the crowd control's done. DPS is ready to roam free now, and where does it decide to go? Shot still onto Dyrus. Ninja finally takes him down, and they are focusing very well. Keith is forced to the back line. Yeah. He just out of really in position for a They fight. see him now. That's the Agony's Embrace going down. Not too much damage from the True Shot Barrage, hitting Kez first and not really anybody else. Dragon goes down. Emperor keeps his eyes on the prize necessary and they are at four for tsm tdk trying to make it back in time this isn't even a 50 50 smite with kez gone 4, they knew L, 3, that's the guy that was They're gone 1500 on the baron can smoothie do anything he goes in no it's going over to santorin smoothie very low unbreakable will goes on and TSM really don't have a focus yet. Kez tries to dive to his team very nicely played by him. TSM is forced to run into the entire squad of Do that over and over. Oh, he wants Fjords and he knows his arcane shift is down. He was trying for the one shot, but he missed him. Flash away from Fjords. Might have just cost himself the life. Wild Goat goes out, Boomerang goes across. True shot barrage for the finish. So many things that can come across to kill you. Ninja goes down, Smoothie goes down, and like you said, Jad, I was only gonna take one good fight. TSM could have that Nexus. Yeah, Ninja and Smoothie down, Baron buff still on TSM, all five members, but no super mini from getting Dragon number five. Home guard teleport coming in for Darius. They want the game now. Oh. Not giving him time to recall. Pops all the Banshee's Veils. If there were any, Emperor goes down first. That's the Trist. It's going to be Ninja next. Does he go down? No. Ignite actually stays alive. Gets the shield coming in from the Lulu. Seraph able to keep him there, but Smoothie was all. Raj. And why this AP Ezreal will the armor. It's all about the peel. Right into the fight, pulverized right onto Santorin. They push Keith back into the pit. Baron actually has stopped aggro though. And it does not look like he'll take any damage. Ninja a little far forward, gets knocked back as well. Who is gonna be winning this fight? Lost Boy goes right in with the Righteous Glory, plays everybody backwards. Is it in range for Team Solo Mid to keep the fight going though? Kez can't get in range, neither can Seraph. And it's only Smoothie that's gone down in the initial fight, right when they engaged. Ninja flashed into that fight, unable to find a one shot of any kind. And yeah, TSM has such an edge on this. This Baron is theirs. Has no flash, no range. The 50-50 is not a chance for the Evelyn to come up and smite. And Baron once again goes over to Team Solo. Not something that can happen. They're like Nidalee Spear is coming across, but almost the more painful. You can get hit they ready, can't though. Get through. They, they want can't TSM get through. to engage. Kez coming from the back line. Agony's embrace on the full team. TDK got everything they wanted. Bjergsen down for 77 seconds. Dyrus in the middle. Backside is Keith. He's not able to put out the DPS. There's the Zanyas from Serif. Keith could go down. He gets over the wall, flashed and bumped. And it looks like he will be able to get out. But what did TDK get from this? Aspect, they could go right for it. The fight, it's still theirs. Dyrus goes down and he's not back to move speed Emperor towards the dragon. He went all the way to red buff to meet him here. Here comes the true shot barrage. Across will the it entire steal? team. Woo! Very nicely done. Over by They're gonna Emperor. get it though. Spider the way! You gotta be kidding me. Santori comes up huge aspect. But he is able to get himself out nicely. Yeah, and this is a big fight at the Baron area. Smoothie trying to tank up with Alistair, but that all's gonna run out any second Looking now. Look at the DPS. Smoothie's taking about 100% now of his health, and nobody on Team Solomon even took a shot over the wall. They all focused the cow, and the rest of TDK ran away. Seraph's already gone down. Ninja gets grabbed. What a hook from oh, Lost to keep the fight going. Kaz is actually big enough to take down Bjergsen. With all of the CC that can fly through from Lust Boy to stop this one. Do they go for the game? They need the minion wave to arrive. It will be there in time before yep. TDK respawns. So right now you can actually see Emperor's Banshee's Veil coming back up, but the visual is that it is on him. It's TDK Inawa. needs to kill Keith, otherwise this game is over. That's one Nexus turret. 54 minutes in, TSM actually had their backs against the ropes a few times in this one, but they are able to stomp their foot down one last time. That's going to be Emperor where he doesn't want to be. Team Solo mid struggle a little bit with the middle game, but are able to come out with a victory. 20 to 11 in kills, 54 minutes in, and Team Solo mid take down TDK. What a crazy game that was, Riv. TDK putting up their best fight, but ultimately they can't take down Team Solo mid and that ridiculous Ezreal build. Whew. Almost overtaking Pepiniero, 62 and a half thousand damage dealt the champions by Bjerks in that game. There was 48,000 by the victor for Ninja. A few narrow misses of trying to kill him instantly. Bit of a difficult loss for TDK to take. Yeah.
especially with the amount of wins they need and seeing that this would have been the top team. The momentum in itself out of this game win would have been huge for the solidified roster of TDK. Still, this should be a huge game for them to look at. Played very well against the top team in the league and ultimately faltered where the top team in the league has won most of their games. Yeah. In the towards late the late game. game. What a ridiculous match that was. Two of them starting off yeah. Fourth of July weekend. Very nicely done. Bjergsen bringing out the Ezreal. We've seen two of it today so far. No bans all the way through. Maybe a third game here putting out even yeah. the most damage and losses. So as far as checking in on the